Warning, the following show features stunts performed by a complete jackass without the supervision of professionals. Accordingly, EZ Chronicles must insist that no one attempt to ride without gear or reenact any stunt or activity performed on this show. This was the, the best thing. And you, like I said, you can go off road. You well, can... that's the thing, you know. I mean, even th this neighborhood, it's not a, mm -hmm. you know, it's a very quiet neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And, you know, there's no crazy drivers and stuff. Will you stop eating the grass? <laughs> but, then, then he throws up. That's the problem. Yeah. But, yeah, when you get a chance, man, electric unicycles. Electric unicycles. Yeah, Thank you. You're very welcome. Have a great one. Yeah, you too. Enjoy that. Thank you. Ah, <laughs> uh, what a time to not wear my gloves with all these rocks here. What up, guys? Welcome back to the channel. doing a little off-roading. Or, or are we? This is not this this is not there's the path. Doing a little off-roading. Thanks thanks to Seth. Now he has me hooked on taking a road less traveled. I never um, rode this side of the path before. I always kept to the road. So, uh, now we're gonna try this part of the path out and see, see how it fares. But yeah, thanks to Seth, taking me on that little off-road excursion when he came up to visit me. Opened up my uh, my eyes to a whole nother level of riding, and uh, yeah, so we just go for a ride, man. Check this trail out, see how it is, see how it fares. Find me a nice, decent line for me to kind of run through. Got to dodge the the rabbit ish and the deer ish. But whoa. But yeah, I didn't, I had my gloves in the truck and for some reason I was like gonna bring them and then at the last second I just left them there like an idiot. And uh, the only reason why I'm thinking about it is because right now it's kind of cool but earlier where we were, there was a lot of rocks. So, uh, kind of just learning the line, seeing, seeing where everything is and then uh, Oh, there's deer. Look, 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 look. That's a big deer. I hope that's the only thing I have to worry about back here. Now that I think about it, I don't have any bear spray. <laughs> well, let's hope that's all we have to deal with. It's just deers.
think to myself, what's the benefit of having this awesome off-road tire if you don't actually put it to use? And I didn't realize how much I was getting accustomed to just riding on the road and doing leisure, leisure style riding until I ventured off road. And uh, besides the workout that it gave my whole lower body, it was fun. You know, some parts were a little treacherous. Ooh, gotta watch the pedal dip on that. Some parts were a little treacherous, but that was mostly because the trail was super muddy and and and, and wet and, and damn. Oh, hey, bunny. Hey, buddy. So, um, yeah, it made, it made the the trail a little a little treacherous. I wish I could show you all the footage that we took from that or mainly Seth took I didn't take it Seth had the camera but um, he was using his uh, GoPro Max and um, I took that footage I took the raw footage but I didn't get to actually render it into 360 before he left which was stupid on my part because uh, I am not running Windows 10 on my computer for good reason and unfortunately the GoPro Max software only works with Windows 10 so I'm gonna have to wait till Seth gets back or I'm gonna have to wait till he has time to render that footage out before I get to show you our, our excursion but it's too late now I'm already off on, an, on another trail too much I'm on, the, I'm on the ride so I'm gonna try to get into the ride without getting too distracted while talking to the camera this is a hill Seth, if you, if you pass through on your way back, we're hitting this place up. I'm sure you'll like this just as much as the other trail. It's a lot drier. There's a lot of sand, though. So I think that's kind of our, the balance there. It's like we trade all the mud for the sand. I don't have a mud guard, so I have to make a fake mud guard. Check it out. Hopefully it's actually working, keeping the sand off the back, back of my ass. But this, uh, this place is uh, a few minutes away from my house, about 15 minute drive away from my house. And um, like I said, I've, I've, I've ridden over here before, but only on side where oh, oh that was a lot of sand only on the side where um you know all the asphalt and the buildings are but uh over here not so much but this is great check out the scenery
really got to bend your knees in this part. You don't have enough time to really adjust when you hit those bumps out of nowhere. You kind of have to already be ready. Where's the path gone? I see it. You guys like my helmet? I'm all, I'm all helmeted out. I figure this is as far as I'm gonna go as far as headgear. But I guess this kind of calms the people who are crying about me not having no gear. This is a comfortable meeting. It's like me meeting you halfway. It's like I'm wearing protection, but I'm wearing enough protection where it's what I need, but at the same time, it doesn't impede my vision at all. Maybe you should go over here. I'm trying to find the best line here. On your left. place is fun it's it's uh it's a nice intermediate level for me to get my off-road on I just wanted to check this trail out one is just see if it was a good enough trail to get some riding on and it definitely is But yeah, I just wanted to test this track out and I, I'm already, it already gets the seal of approval for me. This is great. This is great practice to build up my, my skills. I'm gonna put this camera away and, and do the same the same way I came on video. I'm gonna do that. But I'm gonna do that off camera because I need to enjoy this and just take this in for myself. And I can't do that while holding the camera. So that's the end of this video. Thanks for rocking out with your boy. And um, 
yeah man shit that was that was fun off-roading for the guys who haven't gone off-roading yet hey man gotta try it out it's great and plus look at this place at your disposal so I guess the track goes all the way over there I wonder where it comes back out to shit yeah I don't even know where to go I just I, I, I just can't ride and, and and commentate and then try to soak it all in and then memorize what's going on here so like I said man thanks for riding with me um, I don't know I have something else to rant about next video I do have something to say about certain group of riders that came to my town that actually hit up because they were like hey if any riders in albany we're coming up there what's up and i hit them up i'm like hey i'm in albany what's up hit me up and then they get here and they don't hit me up but yet they post pictures of them riding all throughout my town what type of bitch ass shit is that but it's cool it's cool I ain't tripping off of it but it's just one of those things it's just fucking weirdos man but all right y'all thanks for rocking out with your boy let y'all soak in the view one more time we're gonna hop skippity jump well i'll, I'll take you on a little, little bit Thank you for watching the video. We hope you enjoy it. Be sure to like if you actually enjoy it. Don't forget to ride into that subscribe button for more videos to come from EUC Chronicles. <laughs> that belt is obnoxious.